Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am jumping right into cleaning because we spent the entire day at the pool and by the time we got back, I realized how late it was and then I also realized that I did not make up the beds or tidy up the rooms before bedtime like I usually do. So I am going to be jumping from room to room, just getting the beds all ready and the rooms ready for bedtime. I don't know about you, but I always like to go into a room to sleep that is neat and tidy. It just kind of helps. I think it helps the kids fall asleep faster and it certainly helps me fall asleep faster. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And also in this video, I am going to be baking a banana cake and I will show you how I make it. And I'll also link the recipe below. And in this video, I am also announcing my two winners to my giveaway. And that is going to be throughout the video. So make sure that you keep watching so that you can find out who the winners are to the giveaway and also so that you can see the recipe for the banana cake. All right, guys, we've got a lot to do in this video. So let's just get started. If you're wondering why the sheets were on the bed in the boys' room, it's because the boys last night decided to have a sleepover in the room, so all of the three boys slept in the same room, and now I am just putting the sheets back on this bed. They are clean. I did wash them yesterday, and so I'm just going to put this bed back together so that he can get in and feel cozy and comfortable and fall asleep a lot faster. For the girls room I'm just going to do a quick tidy up of their bed and of some of the items that are on the floor and hang up a couple of things back in their closets. I'm not going to do like a serious cleaning in their room because they are going to get into the bed soon. Usually the girls do a pretty good job of taking care of their room but because we left today kind of early and spent the day at the pool I just figured I would do it when we got home and that way it would be all done for them. I did wash these sheets um, before we left for the pool. I just did not put them back on the bed. So here I am just really putting this bed back together. I also washed the three pillow shams that I have. This is the first time that I've washed them since I bought them. Um, so I was a little bit nervous hoping that the shams didn't shrink and they didn't. They are fine. So now they just smell amazing and all the sheets are clean and I cannot wait to climb into this tonight. <laughs> So I am choosing my first winner for my $50, my two $50 gift card um, prizes and my first winner for the $50 Target gift card is Nicole Sexton. Nicole Sexton, you are my first winner. So you're following me on Instagram, I know that you are, so DM me in Instagram so that I can um, be able to send you your prize. Yay! For my first winner, Nicole! You have 48 hours to contact me or else I'm going to have to give the card to somebody else. So make sure that you get in touch with me within the next 48 hours. I bought this cookbook really early when I got married. Oh, what was it, 14 years ago? And I have used it so many times since then. It is one of my favorite cookbooks. It's really basic. So it gives you basic um, cake recipes, um, basic dinner recipes, appetizers, salads, soups, just really simple dishes that are really easy to put together. 
I am okay with cooking. I can I can do pretty well with cooking over the years, but I am a horrible baker. So even though I have used this recipe at least 30 times over the past years, I still have to open it up and go back to it because I can never remember the measurements. And if I don't follow the measurements, everything tastes horrible. So I do follow recipes pretty closely when it's baking. Um, it has really basic recipes like I said and then it has even some complicated ones like roasts and specialty meals So I really recommend this book if you are new to cooking or if you're a newlywed or you're a new mama Or you just need a good book that has just really basic easy recipes. I really recommend this book I'm gonna link it down in the description box below because I've used this over the last 14 years countless times at least once or twice a week when I just need a quick reminder of what ingredients were in what dish and um, it's just been a really helpful thing so I think you would love it so here really I just first mashed up the bananas it called for three bananas I think I had five but they were small and really mushy I really wanted to use them up I didn't want to throw them away and then so I just mixed together wet ingredients and then um, slowly poured in the wet into the dry. I added mini chocolate chips. Those were not part of the recipe. We just added that in and I'm putting it into a cake pan and I'm going to bake this for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. Look out, here she comes. Too bad you'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has so I'm just going to be throwing everything into the dishwasher and filling that up so I can start it before I go to bed. I am not going to be putting in the water bottle because it is a Brita water bottle and I am not putting in my beautiful measuring spoons. I got those in my Fab Fit and Fun box. I can link that video below in case you are interested in taking a look at that. I think you might be able to still order those from the website if even if you just wanted that one item. But they are so beautiful. They're rose gold and the instructions said do not put in dishwasher. So I am not going to because I do not want to ruin that beautiful color. They are my favorite thing that I own in the kitchen because they're just so pretty. Um, to wash my sink out, I am using the Method Heavy de Degreaser. I love this product for degreasing. I love it especially, obviously, if I use something that has a lot of oil in it, but it's also great um, if eggs get in the sink and it really gets rid of the egg smell. I don't know if you guys know that. Even if you scrub it down sometimes with soap, it can still get that eggy smell. And then I am going to be using Barkeeper's powder around the disposal area because I thought it just looked a little dingy and I wanted to brighten it up. So I sprinkle some in there and I scrub it down and then put some hot water over it just to rinse it away. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only Got lost inside the blue of those eyes. I've gotta let her go. I know it won't be easy. I wanna hold her close. I also want to take a second to welcome any new viewers to my channel. I would love it if you enjoy this video if you would stick around and subscribe watch some more videos like the videos for me I love interacting with my subscribers so if you leave me a comment below I will respond and it would make me so happy if you joined our family I do a lot of different uh, lifestyle videos over here so I think it's a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy it a lot and my next winner for the Starbucks card is Claire Lee. Claire Lee, you get the Starbucks $50 gift card. So I know that you're also following me on my Instagram. So go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and um, contact me on my Instagram. Claire Lee, this is you. 
So congratulations. Congratulations, Nicole. Congratulations, Claire. Contact me on Instagram so I know where to send these cards to. And hopefully soon when I hit 1,500 subscribers, I will be doing another great giveaway. So stay subscribed, get, other, get your friends to subscribe so that they can also join in in my next giveaway. Thank you so much. This is from the bottom of my heart for all of your support, your kind comments, your likes, your shares, everything. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. So Nicole and Claire, contact me at 48 hours or else I will have to give this to somebody else. All right, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.